Hey bosses, it's Nina. So today's episode is all about how to use Anchor with your Android phone. No, I'm playing. So we're going to talk about Anchor podcast app for Android. And I'm going to do something I never do on my channel. I'm just going to record it in portrait mode from my phone. I'm actually having a super duper busy week and I just need to get this out. I have a client who wants to know how Anchor works and she's starting her own podcast. Um, before we jump in, I just published a video called how to make your own podcast for free with your anchor app. Um, so if you don't have a podcast yet and you're looking to create a podcast, start with that video first, then come back to this. So if you're new here, my name is socially Nina Thomas. I am a digital marketing consultant and a video marketing strategist. I help a lot of my clients use that digital marketing to create recognizable brands. So we're going to go over the anchor app so you can see how people use it when they're actually viewing podcasts or when you have a podcast. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that now. I'm almost at 10k yay and you could help me reach that um if you're returning just let me know how long you've been watching my channel all right so this is my anchor app you can download it for free from the um for your iphone or your android i do have an android so we'll be going over that a while back when i first created um where they when we first had anchor i created an episode so you'll see that my previous episode is here and I got 92 views. Whoa, ballin' viral. Anyways, so here you'll see the app and I'm gonna actually go over the tools at the bottom first. On your bottom right hand co corner, it says your podcast. This is where I can see all of the episodes that I've published. I've only published one episode. Keep in mind that an episode is when you actually publish and put together a lot of different pieces that you've been, I don't know why I emphasize it like that, pieces, anyways, um, a lot of pieces of um, content that you put into one episode, and we'll go over that in a second, but this is my official um, episode. Um, the other thing I want you to keep in mind is if you set up your podcast, your Anchor podcast um, system correctly, when you record a podcast, it will automatically syndicate um, or be published on some of the other podcast tools like Spotify and Breaker and Apple Podcasts and Overcast and Podbeam and Radio Public. There's like a ton of different podcasting platforms that this just sends out your podcast to. Okay. So one to keep um, that in mind. I do have a video on how you edit and publish podcasts with Anchor. I'll leave that link below. Now, in here, you'll also see your money. I don't have this activated on this account, but I did create a new um, account where I activated sponsorships as well as um, listener support. What's gonna happen here is once you activate it, it connects to a Stripe account. If you have an existing Stripe account, you can Stripe account, you can connect it to that. If you don't, it will have you just set up a couple of things so you can receive money. So basically you can do an episode and say, hey, to keep on supporting me, please donate, blah, blah, blah. And this is how you do it. You have to activate it before you have it started. Your ana analytics, <clears throat> excuse me, under your analytics, you'll see all of your data. And again, this is super duper old. It has to be like three years ago, but um, let's just see if all time, there we go. You'll see how many plays that you had and you can kind of move your finger across. This is just like YouTube, where you can see on certain dates how many plays that you had. You can see your countries. This is really good because you wanna see um, who's supporting you and you can customize your content that way. I'll click on view more in dashboard and you can actually go to the site, log in and actually see all of your details. This was my show and all my show information, right? But I'm gonna go back. All right. So that is your analytics. I'm gonna go back over, I'm gonna skip the tools for now. I'm gonna go to your left-hand side where it says discover. Now, I always suggest if you're gonna do something like a new YouTube channel, you know, watch YouTube videos. If you wanna do a podcast, listen to podcasts so you can see what they're doing. So why don't you use this to discover some of like the hot, new and fresh um, podcasts. You can go down and say, see which ones, 
were created by Anchor. And I love this because if you create your podcast with Anchor, you may show up here, right? Cool podcast ideas, which is great. But what I would do is go up to the top. We'll come back to these other items and just search. Maybe I'm searching for startups, right? You can see how many podcasts are about startups and you can actually star or favorite certain podcasts. If I go in there, it will give me the show notes or the information, the website that you can click on. You can actually message the people in the top right hand corner, right? You could actually record a message to them. And now keep in mind, I'm gonna have to move this. Keep in mind that not all podcasts have this on. You could actually turn this off um, when, um, you set up your, your podcast. All right. In the top hand, right hand corner, you can share it anywhere. Again, thinking about your own podcast, think about all of the different ways they can share it. So you can remind people to share your podcast. Okay. You can also block or report different stations, and then you can go into an episode in the episode. Again, the show notes are here. Um, you can play, and when you play it, I just, in just the, in my bottom left-hand corner, when I press play, you'll see this, there's an arrow. I click the arrow to actually view this portion. You can give them claps to so let them know like, hey, I like that as you're going on. And so when they see the, the analytics, they'll see that you clapped, right? You can, um, and this is on your right-hand side that I'm clicking. There's also on the right hand side, go faster 15 minutes, I mean 15 seconds rather. Moving over to the left side, I can click on share. Again, just like you're sharing the entire channel, you can actually share that specific podcast and you could also rewind 15 seconds. Going to the bottom, you can message them. Again, you can record a message as the show's coming on. And here's a tip for new podcasters, ask your audience questions, just like you do on YouTube, just like you do when you're speaking from the stage, on your post, um, in your blogs, ask them a question and they can record the answer. Again, you want more engagement, all right? So at the top on the right-hand side, you'll see the settings again, this is what I like. I do this with um, eBooks is if I want to go faster, I can listen faster. Um, and it's just a couple of other things that you have available. All right, let's minimize this and back out of this podcast. And again, you can look at people who have that in their names, episodes, um, specific episodes. So remember, there's the overall podcast name. There's the name like Socially Nina, and then there's the actual episode. So you can search for specific items there. All right, so I'm gonna go back to Discover. Excuse me, I'm gonna go back to, I have to click on your podcast and then Discover, I think. It's weird because sometimes it doesn't always back out completely. So I'm just gonna head over to Tools. Now in Tools, notice on your left-hand side, you can click on New Episode, right? And then all the way at the bottom, you can click on tools. I want to bring out that there's a couple of things that you can do. You can look at your voice messages. I have no idea who this is. Oh, okay. I do. It's my boyfriend. He always supports me. And you can actually, these are my messages, either voice messages or text messages. And I can actually share them out to other people. I love that portion. I can also record a message back to him. If I go to tools again, notice I can record. So I'm gonna go, ahead, I'm not gonna do that now because I just realized I'm using my microphone for um, this recording. But what I wanna bring out is you can record different segments of your episode. So you can talk about, you could do your intro and then maybe you want to play some music. So I record my episode and then, or excuse my intro, click on library and then I can play and actually these are previous kind of um, segments that I have, that I have not put into episodes. So this is great. So now you gotta that. See, I think I was teaching someone then. So I'm playing this. Okay, so let's wrap it up here. Um, just wanted to bring out a couple of points that- Okay, so those are different segments of the podcast. And what happens is when you record them, they all go into your library. 
So you can record in different sections. It's still one episode, but think of all of your commercial breaks that you have in a TV show, very similar. And then you're gonna go through and put together your actual episode. So again, you have different items here. These are different things that I've recorded. You can also include interludes if they come up. You can record, you can include sounds, right? You can also, in your top right hand corner, if you see, I can import audio from other areas. So um, if you're trying to do very simple podcasts, you can simply just record it all the way through, go back and actually edit on Android because you can edit within the app, trim it and all of that, or you can import. So if you've um, placed it somewhere else, again, I have a completely separate video that talks about how I do this from the desktop and edit my um, edit audio for your podcast, or you can include songs and things like that. So I'm just gonna leave that and I'll go back. Unfortunately, the navigation is a little weird. So what I would do is go to my library after I have everything set up and I can just click on this and add it to an e episode. So this is a segment of your episode. So since I don't have any existing, you're gonna have to create a new one, right? And so you would create a new episode and add the segment to the episode. You would go through and add each of your pieces. Again, this tutorial isn't necessarily how to create an actual episode. It's more of an overview of Anchor, but I do want you to know that you have different segments, sounds, um, interludes, imports, recordings that you can all add to create an episode on Anchor. So I'm gonna back out of this. And again, all of this is under tools and I am recording, huh? All right. One other thing I do wanna bring up is um, when you're recording your episodes, if you want to invite someone, you can click on the plus in the top right hand corner and it will call them. And once it calls them, they answer, you talk and it's recording it and it creates your kind of interview. Once you get all of your segments in there, you can publish in your top right hand corner, add the show notes. And after you publish within a couple days, it will kind of syndicate to some of those other podcast apps. So again, this was just a, an overview of the Anchor app. I hope you have a better understanding of how you can actually create your own podcast with Anchor app. Again, when you start out, go to my video on how to make your own podcast for free, then watch this one, and then go over to how I edit podcast, okay? If you have any questions, I will be creating a lot of Anchor videos, so as soon as I have more battery on my phone, so make sure you like, subscribe, share, ask questions, comments. Love y'all. Peace.